Hello everyone! Welcome to Paper Crafting Playdate. My name is Robin Armbrecht at Really Robin Stamps. Thank you for joining me. Today is October 21st, 2022, and this is episode 73, and I'm glad you're here. Thanks for taking some time to play with paper with me. And today, what I have for us to do is to kind of focus on the inside of our cards and make some features that will pop out when the recipient opens their card. So I hope you're ready to do some playing and let's turn around to the table and we'll get started. Okay. All right, so we've got our camera set here and we'll get started. I have some show and tell to show you some cards that I have received that are amazing. Thank you so much in advance. Let me show you these beauties. This is from Judy and she used that stack and cut technique and put together this adorable little card I love the colors that she used. What do you think? Really fun. Nice and bright little texture here on this one. It's a beautiful card. Thank you so much, Judy. I just love it. And then this a lovely card here is from Liz in California. Look how cute this is to put the little tea bag on the front there in the teacup. So very sweet. I love it. I love how you matched the colors of your designer series paper with the tea <laughs> um, packaging. It's perfect. It's going to be really hard for me to remove that to, to drink that tea because it's so cute. But I will. I will. I love chamomile. Thank you, Liz. And this is from Sue. Let me get the comments on here. I don't know why I always... Always, always, there we go. Hello everyone, welcome, I'm so glad to see everybody. Hi there. This is from Sue, she's one of my um, team members and she sent me this very personalized, inspirational card and she was congratulating me for my um, sales achievement. So cute and so beautiful and so precious. Thank you, Sue. And then this is also, um, a congratulations card um, that I received from one of the Stampin' Up! employees. She's in charge of the area in the Midwest, and um, she knows that my team is called the Butterfly Friends and uh, that I love butterflies, and look how precious that is to get all those lovely, lovely butterflies on there. Thank you, Shannon. I love this card so much. All right, so good to get cards in the mail. Have you guys been sending out cards like crazy? You should be. It's all that time of year when there's so many amazing things. I don't know why. Swipe left. Why is why is swiping left seem backwards? I don't know. Forgive me. All right, everybody. Oh my goodness. Hi, James. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jana. Hi, Mary. And Sharon and Deb and Cindy and Wendy, everybody's here. Thank you so much. All right, let's get started with what we're going to do today. One reminder, because October is ending uh, soon, <laughs> like in a week or so, right? Um, so my hostess code is, is good for just another uh, week or so. And this month you can earn either adhesive with a $50 order using the code, or you can spend $75 minimum and earn a, a, any color set pack, um, combo pack of the Stampin' Blends. And then the starter kit for Stampin' Up is $99 all the time, but in October till the end of this month, you can, um, get an extra $30 of value. So every day you can get the starter kit, which makes you a demonstrator, okay? Um, and you get $125 usually 
for $99. You can pick anything you want out of any catalog to, to build your own personalized kit. This month, it's called Starter Plus, Kit Plus because you get an extra $30. So you get $155 of whatever you want for $99. And then you get the opportunity um, to be a demonstrator, which... Um, you know, for me, I do it as a business, but a lot of people just do it as a hobby um, and they buy for themselves. They don't necessarily sell. So it's kind of a, a, a really easy um, way to build your collection of supplies um, and you don't pay shipping on the starter kit. So it's it's kind of a good deal. If you want to ask me questions about that, I would love to get an email or chat from you. Okay, so we are going to start off today with some soothing backgrounds, okay? So I have this amazing little um, Halloween-esque <laughs> um, color combination. What do you think about that? We've got Gorgeous Grape, Fresh Freesia, and Parakeet Party. And we're gonna create a background to make a card front. So I'm gonna start with the Fresh Freesia and load up my brush. I'm gonna put all three colors on the background and I'm gonna do it in straight lines that overlap. I have been in a little bit of a funk this week and um, I find that when I turn to my uh, stamping, when I'm in one of those kinds of funks, I always gravitate towards doing a, tech, a technique or some simple stamping like this. Um, very simple stamping techniques to me are extremely soothing. So this technique of just adding color with a brush or a sponge to create a soft background, I could do this all day long and it always makes me feel good or better. All right, now I'm gonna go with the Gorgeous Grape on the bottom. But outside of this being therapeutic, um, this is also a great way to make a simple card front using any stamp set and to just kind of, I don't even know what you wanna call this kind of technique. All right, so we have our Fresh Freesia, our Parakeet Party, and our Gorgeous Grape. And so now I'm gonna take the scary cute stamp set and I'm going to take images from the stamps and I'm going to stamp them in the same color ink that I just blended in those sections. So let's start with the gorgeous grape and we'll just put these little cuties right across the bottom. And then also with the gorgeous grape, we'll put a couple little boos. Now I'm going to move into the parakeet party. So I'm going to take the moon image. And stamp that on that layer. I cleaned off the boo and we'll add some more. And then at the top, I'm going to take the bats and I'll stamp them in the fresh freesia. So basically what I'm doing is reinforcing those color layers by just stamping then 
with different images. And it just makes a nice little simple, interesting background. So if you get to sit down and stamp and you don't know what to do, just start burnishing color onto your white and then stamp over it with different images. Um, and you're gonna come up with something that you really like. And you can do this with any stamp set and with any image. Okay, so this is kind of my um, therapy suggestion for you if you need a little um, stamping therapy. I'm gonna come back and show you a card made with this in just a second, but I promised we were doing cards that pop out on the inside, and that's what we're, that's the main focus. So, Let's do that. So for this first project, I'm going to use the Hello Harvest um, bundle. So my card base is Evening Evergreen. And look at these fun colors. So here are uh, the greens and the oranges. I'm gonna put those together. Soft succulent, evening evergreen, Cajun craze, and pumpkin pie. And that's how we're gonna create our card. Let's make the front first. All right, so again, I'm gonna just do a simple background. I'm gonna take the pumpkin pie first. Let's flip that over. So this is kind of like collaging. <laughs> it's not really. But sort of. All right, so I'm gonna stamp three pumpkins in the pumpkin pie. And then we'll take the word hello in the Cajun craze. And put that inside our pumpkin. And now I'm going to take this, actually, no, I'm going to take the leaves first with the soft succulent. And I want to add the leaves to my background, but I'm going to mask my pumpkins so that they look like they're coming out from underneath the pumpkin. So I just stamped the pumpkin image on the masking paper which is double, um, not double-sided, it's like tacky on one side. So you can cut out your images and then you've got a, a full sheet of like a sticky note. So in the soft succulent. We're just gonna make some leaves coming out from behind the pumpkin. If you haven't masked before, it's very fun. There's an entire video on it um, that you can look up. I love how it just made those pumpkins pop right off the page. Okay, so we just have a little bit of greenery there. Now you save this, right? Once you make it, you put it back in your case and you save it so that you don't have to remake it again for a while. Now I'm gonna take this image and I'm just gonna fill in the spaces in the back with the evening evergreen.
I'm gonna make sure everything goes off the edge so there's just a little bit of white here. So I'm gonna just give it a little, make sure the image goes all the way off. Okay, I love that. You might be thinking, okay, I'm not sure I like it. That's okay, but we're gonna keep going. So um, again, you can do this with any stamp set. Just start putting your image and filling up the background. Always start with the largest image um, and do three of them and then kind of fill in working your way down to the smallest image. So I'm gonna take my pumpkin and my blending brush and I'm just going to color in that pumpkin really lightly. I see how already that made it um, better, I guess. Then I'm gonna take soft succulent and fill in the background. So we're just basically eliminating all the white for the most part on the background. And now you've got just a beautiful little layering card front you can use however you want. Um, what do you guys think about that? Is this something that you like to do? Is this like completely foreign to you? I love making backgrounds. And so um, uh, literally when I sat down to stamp my first thing for today's video earlier in the week, this was what I did. Um, I was like, what can I do with these pumpkins, right? Um, and without overthinking it, I just like stamped three pumpkins and it kind of came together. So um, I just encourage you to think outside of the box with your stamps and um, see what happens with them. See what you can do. You know, you, you wouldn't think to stamp that maybe in green, but like when you do, it's gorgeous, right? Okay, so I know I keep saying we're doing a pop-out card and then I keep doing backgrounds, but we're getting there. All right, so this is how you make the pop-out. So this is going to be like a little mini card that fits inside here and pops out. So we had a Butterfly Friends team meeting this week. And during that meeting, uh, there were so many ideas. Um, and one of the team member, Cheryl, she brought this idea and showed everybody how to make it. And it's just so much fun and so easy. And it just adds a nice little element of, of um, surprise to your card. So this piece is four and a quarter by seven. And so you're going to score it in half at three and a half. So it's basically making like a mini card and then you're going to score a half inch on each side. And this is what's going to attach it to the inside of the card. So you've got a half inch and then in the middle. So I'm gonna fold on these lines backwards because they're gonna get attached to the card and then fold it in half the other way. So basically it looks like this, okay? Now, before we attach it to the inside of the card, let's, since we're, this is a card that's gonna be displayed, let's just create a nice subtle background. So I'm stamping the Evening Evergreen image ink on top of Evening Evergreen cardstock. So without having to add another layer of paper, you can just make a nice, I think that's good. So here's our background. And we're gonna decorate this too to make it all coordinate.
what's nice about having this little inside pop-out card is that it will um, give you a little extra space to do some more stamping on, uh, a little more decorating. And then when you keep it displayed, it's gonna be really, really cute. Okay, let's go back to our pumpkin here. Just put one little pumpkin there. All right. We're going to go ahead and use this other greeting. You're such a blessing. And we'll put it inside our pumpkin here. And then here's where you can put your main message if you want. All right, so to attach this to your card, use um, tear tape or strong adhesive for the seal plus, which I'm gonna use that this time because it's right here. So the seal plus is a little bit stronger than the regular seal. And I'm putting that on the two half inch flaps and then these are gonna fold back like this. So what you want to do is line up the center of this pop out with the center of the card and then turn one over. And then you can kind of close it and do the other one. All right, so now you've got this nice little feature and it's closed, it's like this, and when it opens, it does that. I, I think that's really pretty. All right, so let's continue this. There's this fun little um, border stamp in the stamp set. It, and it's actually extremely easy to use. So I'm just gonna go around my layering piece here. to create a little border for our focal point. Like that, so you can just kind of see a little hint of that peeking out. What do you think so far? I forgot how involved this little card was. So what I'm going to do to finish this up is I'm going to put together the little 3D pumpkins that you can create with these two pieces and this stem. So that's going to go together. And then I'm going to cut out this um, banner here, but I wanted to show you a fun little technique. When you stamp in a dark color, like this evergreen, um, once you stamp it, if you don't wait too long, you can just take a regular blending pen, which this is just um, a solution that is like clear ink, 
and you can use it for all kinds of water coloring. But when you use a dark color like this, you have time and because of the intensity of the dark color to just pick up if you run the blending brush right over the ink you can pick up a little bit of that color and just make a little bit of shading so i'm just you know kind of filling in those lines where it would be a little bit darker anyway but this is kind of nice because it, it allows me to do a little bit of shading without having to do anything, you know, extra. All right, let me show you the finished front of the card. And I'll finish putting that together. So there is the, um, the banner with the shading and the over the pumpkin. And then some pretty little in color opal rounds. I used the Evening Evergreen there. Isn't that fun? And then one of the other things you can do is you can add a little bit of a border on the top or the bottom of your um, pop out. But when it's displayed, it's just very pretty. Um, so you can just really do add a little bit more decorating and you've got this really fun um, little pop out to use. Okay, let me put these ink pads away and then I'll show you what I did with this background. So I went back and used an embossing folder on it to give it more texture. And then I used some of the new ovals. These are coming out in November to make a focal point. And then I did the same thing on the pop out on the inside. So you have a nice little display on the inside as well. And this is this is super simple. This is just stamps, ink, and paper, right? We just sponged. <laughs> There's nothing complicated about this. You can use any colors um, that you have, um, any stamps, and just repeat those images, All right? And then here's one made with the Fond of Autumn stamp set, same technique with the three different colors and stamping in the different colors and I used in the leaves embossing folder. And then there's the inside. Okay, let's switch to the next pop out idea. So this one I'm just calling a basic pop out because it's like a little mini card that pops out on the inside. Easy, right? These are all very easy. So here is our next card. And we're gonna use the True Beauty bundle with the Awash in Beauty paper. So I've already kind of put the pieces together. So this is called an accordion fold pop out. And it's super easy. So let's go ahead and do the pop out part. For this one, you need a piece of um, pattern paper or you could use um, like copy paper. And it measures five and a fourth by 10 inches. So you're going to make a bunch 
of score lines in here because it's going to accordion fold to fit inside. So the first one is at two inches. And then you're going to go every inch up to eight. So that was three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches, seven, and eight. And it's 10 inches, right? So there's two inches on each side. So I don't know if you can see that. So there's two inches here, then one, one, two, three, four, five, six um, inches that are marked at an inch, and then another two inches. So what you do with this is accordion fold it. back and forth. It makes a lot of sense once you put it in the card. So basically you're gonna get this and you want three of those little peaks or mountains that's gonna be on the inside. So I purposely picked this granny apple green side because I wanted it to just be really bright. And so this is gonna get attached just on these two two inch panels. And because this is five and a fourth inch, you can just Mount it so that it is um, leaves a nice little border on either side like that. So the, the adhesive just goes here. And then we'll put it on the other side just on that two inch panel. Okay, so when this closes, it has that nice little accordion on the inside. And so it also is very interesting um, to leave open because you can just do a lot of a lot of little things with it. So what's fun about this pop-up feature is that you can just add decorations along those little mountains. So I'm going to take another piece of designer series paper and this is one and three fourths by four and three fourths. And we're gonna put some of that color back in here on this side. And then on this side, this is where you can write your greeting. So I'm gonna put just a plain piece of white. Over here. And then I cut out some flowers from this beautiful paper and we're just going to make a little bit of decoration. So when you choose the items that you want to put inside here, you just have to make sure when you mount it that it's not going to go past, like you couldn't do this because it has to, when it's closed, it has to be within the confines of the card. So you just have to keep that in mind when you're choosing what you want to pop out. So I'm just putting glue on the hat, little part that's going to be attached to this little mountain right here. And for this one, I'm going to put like a little greeting here on the inside on this. So I'm going to put one of the flowers up here and then 
put that one down there so they kind of, um, you can see all of them as you're opening the card. Again, let's make sure, let's test this to make sure I'm not going to overlap with the leaves. So we want this leaf to stick out over here. And then I cut out these two little flowers because I thought they would look really pretty over here. And then we can actually stamp on this one. So let's bring our stamps in. And I'm going to pick out the yellow. That's so saffron. And then we'll do a little bit of the dark green. Like that. And then our little message you are a true friend here for you always and so now we'll put this right in the middle like that So when that is closed, they all fit inside. And as you open it, you get to kind of see all of that be revealed. And then it makes just a really beautiful display. And it's real simple, very simple. So you can put your message here or you could put another piece of designer series paper there, whatever you like. So let's make a very simple outside. And this is just one of those gorgeous pieces from this pack of paper. It doesn't need anything, it's so pretty. And then I stamped the Just Because on one of the stitched rectangles and then got a little, little bit wider stitched rectangle here to put it on to make a nice layer. And then we'll just pop that up on the front. Has anybody made this accordion pop out fold before? And um, what kinds of things have you put on the inside? All right, I'm gonna leave this one very, very simple because um, all of that fun stuff's on the inside, but we do need just a little bit of sparkle. So let's bring out our iridescent rhinestones. And we'll put one of each size, the small, medium, and the large. Okay, so 
So here's our finished accordion pop out. A simple version. This was the very first one I made and I show I shared this um, previously. It has retired paper now, but this was the very first one that I made. And I've been wanting to get back to this idea ever since I made this one. So this was one of our um, team uh, make and take projects. We made a um, Christmas card with this technique. Kind of fun. And then I wanted to just use this beautiful fall paper Who wouldn't want that sitting on their desk? <laughs> and then I created this little scene with this Forest Friends paper. I made this one for uh, my son's girlfriend she loves animals and she's working so hard right now getting her master's so I am gonna send her this for encouragement isn't that cute I thought these were pretty nice this is this is really fun uh, definitely try this all right so this is pop out idea number two and we have one more I hope you're ready. All right, here we go. This is called actually a, um, a W fold for the inside. Thanks guys. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Now look at this very fun color combination with just some warm colors. Add a little of the early espresso in there. So we've got mango, Melody Crushed Curry Basic Gray Soft Suede and Early Espresso. So this W fold fits inside of a regular size card. So this is going to be the card base. And we are going to play with this brood for you. I have a birthday coming up for somebody in the family. And so I want, thought I would use this fun little stamp set. Okay, so this is a bundle that has dies that cut out all these fun little glasses. So we're going to just take a moment and do some two-step stamping because it is... So much fun. All right, so let's stamp everything in basic gray. So here is our growler. And then we have a pub glass. And whatever that type of beer glass is called. And then we have a mug. So those are all stamped in basic gray. And now the stamp set has all the fillers. So we're going to fill them with our beverages. So I thought, let's see, I thought we could use soft suede and that would make something like a dark ale in that mug. And then in this one, we'll pretend that is an 
some kind of IPA or whatever. We'll do that in crushed curry. This is fun. This is fun. I love it when there's two-step stamping. Then I'm going to take Mango Melody and we'll just make this one kind of bright like a like a blue moon. Okay, so there are, are all of our um, beverages. And I did go ahead and just pre-cut those. But there's the dies to cut all of those out. All right, so let's do the front first. And we're going to continue our little therapeutic theme here. And we're going to just make that kind of um, color, um, three sections of color, but we're going to do it on crumb cake. So I'm going to start with crushed curry. Ooh, I got a lot on there. way too much ink on there, but that's okay. It's gonna soak in. So now let's go to Mango Melody. And then we'll finish up with Soft Suede on the bottom. So you can see um, how it just looks a little more muted when you do it on a, a, a different kind of neutral than white. And I'm just making sure those colors overlap. And we'll do the same thing. We will take our images and just stamp in the same color. So Mango Melody on top of Mango Melody. And then the same with the Crushed Curry. That's so easy. You guys like that background? So I'm gonna color in the growler here with some soft suede, because those bottles, at least in my very limited experience, are dark. So I'm gonna layer the light soft suede first. And then I'm gonna take the, the dark soft suede and go around the outside and then fill in or go over the all these lines here that are already nicely marked and sh telling us where to shade. And then we'll go back with the light and blend in those lines. So for the front of this, I'm gonna make a tag to put our growler on. And we're gonna use this very best trio punch. So the, I just have a two inch by four inch piece of Mango Melody. And so I'm gonna make this one first. 
because this is a flat um, line back here. So I'm gonna try to center it. And then I'm gonna take the corner and knock off the two corners to make that little tag. And so of course you could use this decorative one as well. So that's gonna be the tag. Oops, I forgot our cap here. But before I put that down, there's this fun little, there are little bubbles um, that can look like the, the beer foam. And I'm going to just put some of those as a background kind of behind the, the bottle there. Just to give it a little bit more interest. And then I already stamped the greeting for birthday, another round for your birthday. So this is a little early espresso ribbon. So we'll just kind of keep with our warm color theme here and add a little ribbon. I would love to know what you have been making lately. Are you working on fall cards? Are you doing, working on Christmas cards? Are you scrapbooking, what have you been working on? Okay, so there's our little tag. Okay, we're about ready to do the pop-up, or out, the pop-out here. I just wanted to get that front finished. There you go, just stamps, ink, and paper. So easy to create those backgrounds, I just love it. I hope you do too, you don't get tired of seeing the backgrounds. All right, so this, inside pop out is called um, a W fold. And so you need a strip of paper that's gonna create this fold that's gonna pop out. It's very similar in a lot of ways to this basic one. Um, it's just kind of a, a slightly different mechanism. So you want to score it in half. Let's see. Oh, James, you quilt too. Oh my goodness. Finished Halloween and autumn cards. October birthdays. Yes, that's what I'm doing, Mary. I am still on my October birthdays. <laughs> Christmas cards. Oh, good. Twisted ribbon card fronts. Those are so pretty, Jonna. I've, I've seen that idea. Okay, so this is eight and a half, just like the length of your card. And so you're gonna score it in half at four and a quarter, just like um, just like the card. And then you wanna make sure these are, you put a score line in half here. So half this way is two and an eighth on each side. And if you don't wanna score, this piece is very easy um, to just fold, you know, fold in half and then fold this in half. It's 
So you're gonna fold it in opposite directions so that you get a W. So you'll see here, there's the W. So this is gonna get attached like this so that the W is um, facing up, okay? And it's gonna have that pop-out feature. And you just use adhesive on the ends here. Oops, let's stamp this first. Almost forgot. Let's take our growler here. And we'll just create a little background. I should have done it before I put the front on, but that's okay. It's just a background. Okay. Now we can put this on. So you want to make sure it's like a W. And... Put a little adhesive on the ends. And then don't put it all the way to the end because um, it gets really thick. Just put it about an eighth of an inch away and then you can close that. So here you've got, here's that little mechanism right there. And when you make one this size, now you've, there's lots of variations to this. So this is one and a half or one and three fourths inch wide by eight and a half. And so the pieces that fit right inside um, of each little section are great if they are um, two inches because this way it's two and an eighth, two and an eighth, two and an eighth, two and an eighth. So I and repeating the colors that are on the outside of the card and you just kind of make a little square to fill up each section now a lot of times when you make a card like this you're going to have lots of stamped images on the inside or extra greetings and so you might want to layer um, each one like this if you're going to you know do some stamping and coloring but since our items were already kind of white. I'm just leaving the blocks here um, that I'm going to put them on. I'm going to leave them plain colored so that those really pop out. So let's figure out where I want what. Where I want what. That doesn't even make sense. But let's put some bubbles behind behind our beverages here. And then you just put adhesive in the middle where it's gonna hit. Um, the little W band here. Almost makes a cloud, doesn't it? That's a fun little stamp. So this, I'm gonna put the inside greeting here.
And then we'll add just some little, there's a little background stamp. It's so cute. We'll just add some of our colors in there. All right, let me close these colors and then we'll close this and open it. Okay, so we've got, this is a little crooked. There we go, there's our W fold with our cute little beverages on there. Fun to display, right? These are really fun to make, especially for all those special people, right? All those people that, you know, would uh, put them on their desks and uh, keep them forever. Let me show you another one in this portrait version. So here's a little, here's our, our same little ombre coloring technique, very simple, stamping with our W pop out on the inside. So you can get crazy in there, right? And it's going to be fun, very fun. Now you can also do it in landscape version. You just have to change um, this mechanism and make it 11 inches and you might want to make it a little wider because you can um, you could do some tall this doesn't they just don't have to be squares you know you can make you can adjust this is what I'm trying to say you can adjust this mechanism and make bigger taller um, little sections it just depends on what you want to stamp inside so this one I actually made my son's birthday is coming up and so I did it in um, in the landscape version and I made the mechanisms a little bit bigger so it's still the same W so the measurements of this this smaller one is one and three-fourths by eight and a half and then you fold it in half and then you fold each half and half um, and that, so for this one, it, I did two inches by 11 inches. And then you do the same thing. You fold it in half at five and a half, just like a card. And then halfway between, um, you fold those again. And this happens to be two and three fourths on this size. So I'll have a PDF on my blog later on today with all the dimensions, um, for these two versions. So hopefully you'll give one or all of these a try. Um, do some therapy stamping. Do some simple ombre-esque backgrounds, but with stamping on them. All right, so this is our W fold pop out. And then we have an accordion fold pop out. And then we have our basic little mini card pop out. Which one do you think you might try first? Leave me a comment. Please chat with me and let me know um, what you're up to, where you're from. If you were just watching me for the first time, I would love to know where you're from, how you found me. If you share this video with your friends, that is like the greatest um, thank you that you could give me. And I appreciate that so much. Make sure that you um, follow up um, later on today and grab this PDF so that you know how to put these pop-outs together. And then I suggest you um, lock yourself away and do some stamping. Um, see if you can fit that into your schedule and have a lot of fun doing it. I thank you so very much for your time today as always. And until next time, we'll see you then. Bye.